Hello there. Welcome to my new video in which I will introduce you to our weekly planner spreadsheet and guide you on using it properly in Google Sheets. Let's get started. Before you start, you could go to File and make a copy of the spreadsheet. This way, you'll always have a fresh copy to start with when you like, like for a new month. Also, to maximize your view, go to View and click on Full Screen. When you first open your copy of the spreadsheet, make sure that you are on the Customize Here tab. Here, you can set the current year and select your preferred starting day of the week based on whether you want Sunday or Monday as the first day in your calendar. You can select your preferred starting time for every day. Whether you are an early riser or a night owl, you can choose according to your convenience from the drop-down menu. Next, you can choose the starting date for your planning. The cell below, which indicates the end date of the planning period, will automatically update to reflect the last date of the month you've selected above. You can modify this date according to your preference. Next, you can list various schedule categories into which you will organize your plans such as work, family, and personal commitments. For task management, you can set priority categories like urgent, high, medium, and low. In addition, you can list up to five wellness indicators that you will track daily, such as mood, energy levels, and stress. Finally, you can mention daily metrics like water intake, exercise duration, screen time, etc., which you want to monitor every day and set targets for each. Once you finish the initial setup, everything else in the spreadsheet adjusts on its own. Next, we'll head over to the Occasions tab. Here, you can record all kinds of occasions for the entire year, such as birthdays, anniversaries, and holidays. You simply need to put the date on the left and the name of the occasion on the right, and all occasions will automatically update throughout the entire spreadsheet. Now we'll go to Quick Links. In this tab, you will find direct links to access the weekly planners, as well as other tabs. The current week will be highlighted in green for your ease. We will visit this particular tab. In the weekly planner, you'll have this mini calendar for a quick reference point. In this space below, you can type your priority or focus for the week, such as mental well-being. As you scroll across to the right, you can start planning your week. Any occasions falling within the week will be updated automatically for your convenience. Below, you can begin organizing your daily schedule. You can first select the appropriate category from the drop-down menu and then put down the details. It will get color-coded automatically for your ease. Further down, you can list your tasks and reminders for the day, and then assign priority levels using the drop-down menu on the right. As you tick off each task, the progress bar will track your completion. Below this, you can plan out your meals for the day. Lastly, you can add highlights for each day, such as your achievements, for your record. On the far left side, you can keep a weekly record of your daily wellness. You can use emojis, images, or color grading to personalize your tracking method. Below that, you can track daily metrics such as water intake and sleep duration by simply entering the numbers. The bars will automatically update, providing a visual overview of your week's patterns. Lastly, you can list the tasks you aim to complete by the end of the week and assign priority levels for each. As you finish these tasks, the bar will reflect your progress. We'll go back to Quick Links for further navigation. Now, we'll head over to the monthly calendar. When you mention the starting day of your planning period, the calendar here will automatically update to show the respective month. In the calendar, under every date, 
This space is to be retained for special occasions which will update on its own. Below that, you can list your daily events and important dates like meetings, visits, etc. On the left side, you can list the tasks for the month and choose their priority from the drop-down. You can check them off when you get them done, and this bar will update your progress. Now we'll go to the monthly goal planner. Here you will plan out your goals for the month in detail. In this section, you can define the areas of your life that want to improve or work on, like lifestyle, academics, fitness, etc. Next, you will mention the goals you want to achieve in the respective areas. For example, have a balanced life, get amazing grades, etc. This whole section is where you'll be putting in the routine goals you want to develop in the corresponding areas to fulfill your goals over the month. Under daily goals, you'll put goals that you want to develop every day, like waking up early. Under weekly goals, you'll put goals that you'll fulfill once a week, like cleaning your room. Under month's goals, you'll put down goals you'll accomplish in the month, like going out on a trip with family. Now we'll go to the goal tracker. In this tab, you'll first have the daily section where you track your daily goals as you check off these boxes every day. Here, the current date and day, and the corresponding column under it will be highlighted in green to help you locate it at a glance. Then, in the weekly section, you'll check off goals you complete once every week. Next, the monthly section. Here, the goals that you'll complete in the month are categorized into their aspects. Up here, you get to see your month's progress in all aspects separately. For instance, I have achieved 70% progress in the area of lifestyle. So that's how this spreadsheet works. It is also available in other colors. Just visit the link in the description to check them out at our shop. When you purchase your copy of this spreadsheet, you will receive a fresh copy. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.